Thank you for visiting West Coast Auto Enthusiast Terror feature in a 1979 MG. It's a clean title. I uh, can't prove a Carfax because of the year. They didn't start doing those until 82. Uh, our customer bought it rep um, reportedly as a single owner out of Palm Beach. Uh, it's super clean. Uh, he's had it in the state of Oregon for, I think, uh, I'm not going to remember that, a number of years. It's always been stored indoors in a climate controlled environment. Uh, it's super clean. I've got $3,300 uh, in receipts. Uh, Tess, uh, also when he bought it, it is reportedly a 40,000 mile car. It's got uh, like 40,500 miles on it. Or no rust, super clean. I've got pictures of the um, the engine compartment and the trunk. I mean, you can tell it was it's been stored inside and been very well taken care of. Starts right up. So we have an indoor car cover. I've got service records, uh, which I mentioned for $3,300 total in service. Uh, I've got a pamphlet for it. We have a um, number of keys. We have the tonneau cover. I put the top down just because it's easier to see inside the car. Uh, but I've got uh, multiple pictures of the top and the vinyl. They're in great shape. And it's manual. It goes up and down super easy. So super clean. I think in, I think he bought it back in 18. And uh, he brought it here once and then... Uh, we ended up not selling it, took it back, and then they brought it again. They're just not driving it, which you can understand in the city of Portland, <laughs> especially in the last year. Done nothing but rain. So all the trim, the chrome, uh, it's got new tires on it. It's all in really good shape. The vinyl's really clean. So, I mean, it does represent, it would make sense. It is only a 40,000 mile car. It does look to be original. By the door panels, all that stuff is clean and in good shape. And I've run through the electronics and the gauges and stuff, and I think everything I've tried has worked so far. So it's nice, it starts right up. That's, that can't be very common with the MG world. Um, so gauges, now if you're not familiar with these, it took me a while to do it. Your light switch is right here, I don't. So that all the way down is lights. Uh, so right turn signal works. Left turn signal works. Uh, you have hazards, which is over here. So those work, as you can see. Uh, gauges, so oil pressure, fuel gauge, uh, tachometer. There you go, that takes a little while to catch. Uh, clock is operational and temperature gauge. So the fan works, you won't be able to hear it, but, well maybe you can hear it. So that works. Uh, the fan system down here uh, I'm assuming is uh, tied into the um, the fan up here so this is your climate and your um, direction uh, I don't know if that works or not so emergency brake center console glove box I mean pretty clean little car uh, wipers so you got three wipers so you see that those work um, the horn seems to be in op. Uh, in op. Uh, so that's the only thing I'm aware of. Brights, so you can see the high beam here. And it sounds really good. It drives really nice. Uh, wouldn't appear that it needs anything. So the dash is in good shape. I'm with these, so they're usually they're cracked. So this has been stored indoors, climately, climate controlled environment. And uh, our customers had it indoors. Uh, for sure so pretty straightforward I have a lot of pictures just documenting all the door jams and everything I just wanted to make a video to show that uh, it starts quickly and easily uh, it's a pretty nice little car for the money so anyways if you have questions or would like additional information please feel free to contact us we can be reached at 503-227-2354 and thank you for visiting West Coast Auto Enthusiast